Now I've got the Esper Charm. Sure, it gives him one more turn to Thought Hemorrhage, and that does suck. But even if he plays like a Brewmate Dragon here, I can bash the Dragon, you know, bash one of his tokens, gain five life, hit him for five, get a uh, get a Blood Braid back, or get a... Oh! Get the uh, Kachari Remnant back. That was actually kind of nice of him to kill a Remnant. It was kind of helpful. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I, uh, I meant for that thing to die. Okay, um... <laughs> Draw two cards here. Okay, Captain Blightning. What's up with this guy? Mr. Blightning. Black, white. Uh, oh, whatever. No, I don't have any four mana. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands already, so I'm just going to dump these two lands that we just drew. Okay, that's what you get, buddy. You got another Blightning, you got me. I, it's, he could, though, like, right? He, he could just cast, um, he could cast, I guess he can't cast the two minutes blast, but he could cast a Blood Braid and, and get a Blightning. Oh, no, Blight. Yes! <laughs> Here we go. Now you're about to find out why when Brian David Marshall asked uh, Patrick what the favorite card in his deck was, he said, Cruel Ultimatum. What a joy this card is. <laughs> card is like half the reason we've been playing five color <laughs> boosh <laughs> why don't you lose those last two cards in your hand and they're probably like bituminous blast or something like that oh just a jun charm and what <laughs> and anathemancer yes <laughs> Now he can bring the Anathemancer back out, but at least he won't get us for the extra two, and we do gain the five lives. Um, okay, I'm going to choose the Remnant for my graveyard. Hopefully I'll win this uh, with the time I'm taking here. Um, okay, I'm going to play a, a Swamp Down. I'm not going to play any more non-basics because, of course, he has the Anathemancer. So that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, Anathemancer is going to be able to hit us for five. Um, so certainly a decent amount. Um, I'll be able to Traumatic Visions his next one that he casts, but then he'll be able to bring it back out. So Anathemancer is certainly top of my worries list right now. And hopefully I can get to some other stuff that will help. Looks like he's going to flash back that Anathemancer, yeah. So he unearths it. He's going to hit me for five. And three more times, and that'll take me out. So I've got to get to either an Oblesk or another one of my... Win conditions quickly. Right. So we can stop, we can slow down his anathema answering, but he's kind of land screwed, so not by much. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four. I may actually have to play this orchard to be able to counter as well. Let's see what we get off this blood braid. Hopefully, let's get a little bit progressive. So red, green. Um, not get a Maelstrom Pulse. Do I get a Purge? Yeah, I got a Purge. I think I got a Purge. I don't know what I got. I get a Purge? The hell? What did I get? I, I guess I got a Purge, and I can't use it. I'm really having trouble figuring this out. It may be kind of obvious to you. It's not obvious to me. I, I presume I got a purge, and I can't use it. Okay. Now, I don't think it hurts me too much more to play one more land here. Um, in terms of the whole, uh, this whole ugly anathemancer business. So I'm going to do so. He does nothing, so maybe he's drawn nothing for like the last couple turns. Another Blood Braid. Let's see what happens. Green, red, green, boom. Do we get another Purge? Okay, he's going to... Yeah, he's sacking his lands, I guess. He's been pretty mad screwed. Although, the, uh, yeah. 
Bill's maim didn't help him. Yeah, another purge. Stupid. Okay. So I'm not going to play that. That's a bummer. You see, I mean, these things come up. That's a problem with playing purges. Maybe it's not even good. But these guys are. All right, so there's still three two haste guys. And I've just got the classic combination of I'm ahead in the game and I have a counter spell. Now, that's not quite the same as it used to be before Cascade came out. Uh, oftentimes, that was just kind of curtains that's over. Forget about it. But nowadays, you can Cascade into something and uh, be right back in business. But if he tries to get out with uh, any sort of an ultimatum or uh, broodmate dragon, that's not going to work. Okay, so he's going with a Bituminous Blast. Let's see what the blast turns up. I a very good chance I'm going to counter one of these two spells. Oh, he gets Blood Braid. So lucky. This guy's on, on the comeback. What's he going to get off the Blood Braid? He may actually come back and win this game. Sucks. Boo. But yeah, I mean, show, go to show. Cascade. Sick. See his next cascade is going into going into effect. Let's see what he gets here. Anathemancer! Oh, give me a break. Well, obviously I have to counter the anathemancer. Or I could let the anathemancer just hit me. Put me down to four. And then I can celestial purge it, but I don't see the point of that. So I'm gonna counter the anathemancer. Blue, blue. All right, well, this is going to be rough. He uh, he swings the game quite a bit. He kills a, uh, a blood braid. Now, fortunately, I do have the wall denial, so he can't hit into me. Still got a card left, so we'll see what he's got. If I try to take that guy out with Katari Remnant. Next turn, he can bring that uh, that guy back. So I really don't have that much time. Now, if I blood braid, if I turn up a, um, oh, he's at six life though. So if he doesn't have a terminate here, we can just win. Okay, let's see what we get with the blood braid. Hopefully, we'll actually get. Uh, weirdly enough, we really want to get a purge this time, because then we won't be able to tap out, and we'll still be able to counter. So we actually want Purge. Yes, we got the Purge. Nice. So the per third Purge was the charm. Now we have a counter up. You know, even if he has a Terminate, we're probably going to win. So we, we won this one on Tempo. I, I presume we're going to win. I could somehow lose. Yes, we won. All right, nice. Nice. So we win, uh, win a little booster pack there, and you kind of got to see uh, the deck play against John Agro. I think that was a, a fine... Uh, I, I don't think his, his draws were particularly great. We never saw a turn two leech or something like that. So I don't think that he was necessarily had the best draws in the world or, uh, or, or necessarily the best build of the deck. But that at least gives you a good idea and you got to see a whole match. Um, okay. So, uh, so that's basically it. Um, you know, that's the deck again one more time. Um, you can go through my previous videos. I've got, you know, as you can see, 27 lands and you can also follow up on the coverage on the Pro Tour to get a better idea of what Zach uh, exactly played. And don't forget to go uh, to go to uh, Star City Games and check out uh, Next Level Magic. It's actually, there's a lot of uh, tremendous information that Patrick is just really giving away during this launch. It's kind of, uh, kind of wacky that way and giving away free decks and, and uh, ideas and stuff like that, helping people, uh, you know, figure out what they, uh, you know, what they should play at their, you know, various uh, nationals and and uh, and so forth. So it's a, a pretty cool situation. Um, on Thursday, you can check in the in the free article section, and I believe StarCityGames.com. They should have just a very easy way on the front page of StarCityGames.com to order Next Level Magic, and I, I think it's going to be affordable and, and really well worth your while. Um, all right, thank you very much for enjoying this video with me, and uh, maybe I'll see you uh, come next Pro Tour. And uh, good luck, Zach.